When I sat down to plan my content for the rest of the year, because yeah, it is that late again already, I realized that I had acquired quite some stuff I hadn't shown you yet. So here I am with my last big skincare haul of 2021. Some of the things you might have seen already because I got them shortly after I filmed the last haul video, but most of them won't make an appearance here until next year because, you know, I just have that one phase. It isn't all new stuff either, there are quite a few things I repurchased, so I suggest we start with my repurchases, move on through the new things I purchased, and then finish with the PR I received. Hi, I'm Dr. Anne. I'm a medical doctor with a passion for skincare that works. On this channel, we explore the science behind skin and do quick reviews, so you learn to pick exactly those products that work for your individual skin concern. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, please consider subscribing and ring the notification bell. Things I repurchased. First of all, there is Geek & Gorgeous Sea Glow, my favorite vitamin C serum to date. And not only one, I bought four of them. One for myself, one for each of my sisters, and one for my mother. And because that did not quite qualify me for free shipping, I also purchased the Bee Bomb 10% Niacinamide Serum. Should probably have mentioned that, and one later, as it is new to me, but it kind of fit here better. Only one sentence in and already the categories are going out of the window. I also repurchased the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid Hair Treatment for the second time already and the Inky List Salicylic Acid Exfoliating Sculpt Treatment for the first time. The bigger size and the fact that I don't use it as often make it last way longer than the Hyaluronic Acid one that I basically use every time I wash my hair to combat frizz. The Salicylic Acid one is maybe used once a month to remove buildup on my scalp, but not more often. Oh, and I can't say if it helps with dandruff as I don't suffer from that, but it's great if you have oily roots and sometimes rely too heavily on dry shampoo. I also repurchased the Inky List Niacinamide Serum that I had passed on to my sister the last time, as I prefer the one from The Ordinary with added sink for summer. But as my skin is less oily now that I'm well in my 40s and the winter is coming, I figured I'd reach for the one without the sink to not dry out the skin. And no, I don't really need two new 10% niacinamide serums, but you know, the free shipping made me do it. Just for upkeep, I also repurchased two tubes of the Garnier Envo Soleil Anti-Age Super UV SPF 50. It is just amazing for every day. It is hydrating but lightweight, enough to wear under makeup, and really affordable compared to other sunscreens I have used in the past. Things I purchased that are new to me. Moving on to the things I had not tried before but felt compelled to try, which is, to be fair, the smallest category. I know what I like and what works for me by now. Something I felt I was missing in my routine, though, was the Dr. Sam's Flawless Neutralizing Gel. This is Dr. Sam Bunting's newest release and promises to be hydrating while treating congestion and blemishes with 2% salicylic acid and 5% azelaic acid, as well as squalane and bakuchiol. Now, you know I'm not too excited about bakuchiol, I much prefer my tretinoin, but I yet have to find a 2% salicylic acid treatment that I can regularly use alongside the tret without making major irritation and flaky skin. I've been using it daily for almost three weeks now, and so far so good, but I need to go full cycle to really give you a proper review. And the second thing I purchased that is new wish to me is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Recovery Complex. If you ask now how that can be new to me, as I already have a review up that is going back as far as early 2020, they reformulate it, and I have yet to compare the new formula to the old one. Tell me in the comments if you are interested in seeing that comparison on here. A new sunscreen I got is the HelioCare 360 Water Gel in Oil Free. I finished my bottle of the HelioCare 360 Water Gel, which I loved, and I figured the Oil Free version would be great to use during the height of summer. Well, I was wrong. Firstly, I do find it too drying on my skin, which I did not expect during summer, and second, the scent in this one is so strong, way stronger than the other version, and this strong floral note all over my face is just not something I will ever get used to. Might do a dedicated review, but if I don't, here's the short version. Not a fan. Things I got sent by PR. And now for the stuff I got sent, which incidentally features more of Dr. Sam's flawless skincare line. Around the same time I purchased the serum, I received a parcel containing the Dr. Sam flawless cleanser. 
the Dr. Sam Flawless Moisturizer, the Dr. Sam Flawless Nightly Serum and the Dr. Sam Flawless Sunscreen. My review of the cleanser is up already as they are the easiest and quickest to test. The rest will take some more time until I can give you my final thoughts. But I would be interested in hearing about your experience should you have used the line yourself. There was also the Geek and Gorgeous Stressless Serum, a new release featuring Centella and Panthino for soothing that I already reviewed. And there perfectly clear serum, which is, you have guessed it, a salicylic acid serum aimed at reducing congestion. The review of that one will come before Christmas, I guess. Also already reviewed in part on here are the products by Vergreen, a brand that approached me via Instagram and falls in the K-beauty category, explaining why they are kind of hard to get outside Amazon. At first I wasn't too keen on trying their stuff as their whole site is plastered with clean beauty and non-toxic claims you know I really can't get on board with, but I hate to admit it, some of their products are really excellent. My review of the Vergreen Alcohol-Free Nature Mucin Toner and Vergreen Fragrance-Free Nature Mucin Serum is already up, but I also have the Vergreen Daily Moisture Green and the Vergreen Fragrance Free Sika Serum that I might talk about in the time to come as well. And lastly, thank you for sitting through all this with me, you're the best. Lastly, I got contacted by a goose. Not just any goose, of course, the Ambi Goose that is so heavily into skincare that it launched its own line featuring the Respect Water Cleanser and the Powerhouse Moisturizer. Now, I don't usually take skincare advice from animals, but what really got my attention was their mission statement. Our bold mission is to transcend stereotypical gender constructs that surround the beauty industry by providing the ambiguous community with a high-quality, diverse skincare range that is aimed at all humankind. Something I can wholeheartedly get behind in a time when companies try to sell me gender packs of crisps. So, the mission is great, the goose was much fun to talk to, but if the product deliver is something I will share in a later video. And that is everything. Enough to see me through the last weeks of 2021 and probably the first part of 2022 as well. Have you tried anything already? Anything that you are most interested in? Don't forget, if you want to get a say in which topics I discuss next or which products I buy to review, head over to my Patreon account where you get a vote. I'm going to link to more videos on the screen now that I think you might enjoy and I'm going to see you all very soon with another one. Bye!